I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And in this video, we're going to take you through what to expect when travelling in Costa Rica during COVID. So we're going to break this video down into three parts. What to expect when entering Costa Rica, what to expect with COVID protocols in Costa Rica, and what to expect when leaving Costa Rica. We'll also share our experience of getting COVID tests in Costa Rica, as well as the process for flights from San Jose Airport. So we travelled to Costa Rica in late 2021 and we had a fantastic time there. But given you're travelling in COVID times, there are a lot of things that you need to consider when travelling to Costa Rica. So we're going to go through everything you need to know to travel to Costa Rica in 2022. So our first item is entering Costa Rica. The good news with getting into Costa Rica is that you don't need to have a COVID test. That saves a lot of hassle. There are some entry requirements that you need to be aware of when entering Costa Rica. And that depends on whether you are vaccinated or unvaccinated. If you are unvaccinated, you need to get travel health insurance. And that needs to be specific to Costa Rica. You'll need a letter from your insurer to confirm that you've bought that insurance. And that the insurance has the correct coverage that Costa Rica requires. If you are vaccinated, then you don't need to worry about the travel insurance. But you will need to have your proof of vaccination. Yes. So regardless of whether you're vaccinated or not, you need to go online and fill in a digital health card. And that's where you upload either your vaccination status or your insurance if you're unvaccinated. So once you've filled in that online questionnaire, which is your digital health pass, you'll get a QR code and that's what you'll need to present at the border. So the other requirements for entering Costa Rica are unchanged from normal times. You'll need whatever visas are required for your specific country to enter Costa Rica and you'll need proof of leaving Costa Rica. So your bus ticket or your air ticket, something like that. If you're traveling to Costa Rica overland, we have another video that we've put together that goes into a lot more detail. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Yeah, so that'll have all of the entry requirements and it goes through our personal experience of crossing the Nicaragua to Costa Rica border overland. So the next thing you'll be interested in if traveling to Costa Rica during COVID is what the COVID mandates are in Costa Rica right now. Just be mindful that if you're on public transport or if you're indoors, you will need to wear a mask. Pretty much everyone does that and it is enforced on public transport and indoors. That's just something that you need to be mindful of when traveling to Costa Rica. Apart from that, the Costa Rica COVID requirements or COVID mandates have been changing quite regularly, especially at the end of 2021 and going into 2022, and they will most likely change again in future. So you'll have to just keep an eye out for the specific requirements when you're actually in Costa Rica. As at the beginning of 2022, there is a requirement to have a COVID vaccine in order to enter a lot of venues so you'll just have to keep that in mind that you may have to present some sort of COVID certificate when entering bars and restaurants and other sorts of tourism venues. And to keep up to date with what's happening in Costa Rica go on to the Costa Rica Department of Health website and we put a link to that in our video description. So the final thing about traveling to Costa Rica is what you do when you leave Costa Rica. So we left Costa Rica in late 2021 and we found the process to be actually really straightforward. We were staying in San Jose, which is the capital of Costa Rica, just before we left Costa Rica. And so that made it a lot more straightforward because there are so many COVID testing facilities in San Jose, lots of hospitals and even medical clinics and that sort of thing. There's plenty of places where you can go to get a COVID test in Costa Rica, which is really handy. We actually found the process even easier than getting a COVID test in the US. The turnaround times are really fast. You get your results emailed to you. So in going through the COVID test process in Costa Rica, we've got our experience that we're going to share with you right now. We're getting the antigen test here in San Jose. It's in the car park behind us on the sixth floor. 
and the results only take two hours to get sent to your email so it should be pretty quick. We're here at Hospital Biblica getting our COVID test in order to fly to the United States. And so we're getting the antigen test here. It's less expensive than getting a PCR test. It's still a nasal swab and it costs uh, 30,000 colonas. And it's quicker, so you get your result in two hours. So that's much better than PCR tests where you have to wait until the next day. So there are four different tests that you can take. The PCR, the antigen, the antibodies and the protective antibodies test and they range from 18,720 colonies VAT inclusive to 50,000 colonies VAT inclusive. Now, the PCR and the antigen test are the two that you can use to get on flights and the other ones are to test if you have COVID or to test if you've got the antibodies to protect yourself after you've had the two vaccinations and waited 15 days. We get a 4% discount if we pay by credit card it takes two hours and the results will be sent to our email. You may be wondering why it's in a car park. So this is actually an auto testing station. So you can drive here and get tested in your car, which is really convenient. The process seems to be pretty straightforward. You just need to scan a QR code, fill in your details and... Including your passport number. And including your passport number and away you go. So I've got my QR code and I'm going to sit down now and sort everything out. Ah, so I've just got to fill out the form. So when you're filling out these online forms for the Costa Rica tests, at this station anyway, you need your date of birth, you need your passport number, and you also need the address of the accommodation that you're staying at. So here in San Jose, all of the instructions for the tests are in both Spanish, English and French, which is quite handy. It seems like a pretty straightforward process. After our ticket number came up, we went to the reception, got all our details put in the system, and then we just got our ticket, now we're waiting for our test. There's probably about four people or so ahead of us, hopefully it shouldn't take too much longer. Okay, so how'd you find that, Jay? Oh, yeah, it was fine. Like, I, I thought it would be a lot worse, but it didn't really feel like it was going too up my nose. You seemed to wince a bit more, but I just took it. Yeah, it wasn't so much up my nose but in my nose it felt like it was going back horizontally and i didn't know you could shove a thing down your nose that far yeah so i guess it gives you a little bit of the reflex like you're gonna cry or something like that and i can taste it at the back of my throat taste something Ew. yeah but it's fine yeah it's a lot better than i thought it would be i've been dreading this moment for a while yeah. but it was it was fine yeah it was pretty easy after all said and done and it took a couple of minutes yeah we sat down she got a little vial for us made sure our name was on the vial and then shoved the thing up at our nose and, and away we went and away we went yeah so yeah so in three hours we should get an email letting us know if the test is positive or negative so fingers crossed fingers it all crossed. goes well thankfully our COVID test came back negative make sure that your test results include your name as per your passport the test type and the time of collection. Otherwise, your airline may not validate your results. We flew with American Airlines and they provided an app to guide you through the boarding requirements and upload your COVID test results for validation. This was really handy and streamlined our process at the airport. We've just arrived at Juan Santa Maria Airport here in San Jose and it's our first flight in, well, 19 months, nearly two years. So we're a little bit nervous it needs to be done, so let's see how we go. Well, this is it. We're leaving Costa Rica. We're at the airport now, and it's so sad to be going. I think we've got a lot of unfinished business with Costa Rica, so hopefully we'll be back one day. Okay, so we've got our tickets from American Airlines, and we're all set to depart. We got here very early because we wanted to be on the safe side, so we've got a little bit of a weight on our hands, but we've brought plenty of food to eat so we'll check out the airport and then just wait for our flight. Okay we just got through security there's a lot of stuff that you've got to take off and take out of your bag and stuff like that laptops shoes take off your belt take off any sunnies or jackets or whatever that you're wearing but we got through we probably kept the line up for this though. Okay. And keep in mind if you are entering 
the US in 2022, there is a requirement to have a COVID test 24 hours before your departure. So you'll have to get the rapid antigen test, but they're really straightforward. They're not too expensive in the scheme of things and very quick and results are emailed to you. So we've got a lot of videos about traveling in Costa Rica and traveling through Central America, as well as our travels throughout the world, traveling during COVID. So if you wanna see more great travel videos, don't forget to subscribe. We hope you found this Costa Rica Travel Tips video useful. And we wish you all the best for your next Costa Rica trip. We are Bucket List Travelers. See you next time.